What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at don't blame scooters, blame the streets. So let's see what we got here today. It's not really based on the Netherlands video, but still guys, let's let's check it out. Let's do a few more videos like out of the Netherlands as well. Something different. Hope you guys enjoy it. So let me know in the comments if you do. If you do, yeah, let's see what we got here today, guys. And let's get right on with it. Blocking the sidewalks. Dockless electric scooters have appeared virtually overnight in dozens of cities. So far this year, millions of rides were taken on little machines just like this, and their operators have raised billions in investment. I mean, bro, I mean, these scooters are literally really helpful because, say, someone doesn't have the license and, you know, it's hard for them to get a license and whatever. I mean, this is another way to, like, move around the city and stuff. Instead of bicycles, of course. I mean, this is just an easier way. So if you haven't yet, chances are you're going to see stuff like this pretty soon. We see the scooters navigating through pedestrians. We see them being left anywhere. And this creates, you know, problems for a number That's of it. people. Problems indeed. If people on dockless scooters or bikes keep on using the sidewalks, it's going to get crowded. Okay, so let's see what we actually have. The purpose of the sidewalk has changed considerably over the last hundred years. I can agree. I when can agree, bro. When first started building sidewalks, the reason for them was to accommodate pedestrians on the street, but this was not the only use of sidewalks. There were a number of other social uses. A lot of that happens before the automobile. This street scene is San Francisco in 1906. Notice the man holding a baby just walking straight through traffic. Wow, that's Nobody dangerous, bro. Concerned. They are quite relaxed about it, and they also know how to navigate the street. But eventually, cars got bigger and faster. Traffic had to separate. We start seeing, with the proliferation of the cars, many, many cities start widening their streets. And of course, this happens at the expense of the sidewalk, because a lot of times the buildings were pretty much set. So, you know, a sidewalk that might have been 12, 15 feet becomes uh, 6, 8 feet. Wow. That's just insane. Which is pretty unfair. Literally, I've never come to think of this, like, about the sidewalks, how they get smaller and smaller. It's actually insane. Here for pedestrians because there's a lot more happening on sidewalks than walking. There's the frontage zone. In cities, a business might put a cafe or signs there. Okay. Then there's the furniture zone, full of street lights, newspaper racks, benches, and stuff like that. Because sidewalks have frontage and furniture zones, pedestrians have a smaller space to travel than it might seem. Some vigilantes have taken the issue into their own hands. Wow. <laughs> and many cities have used pilot programs to really get the scooters under control. But these pilots are likely to extend. After all, cities need alternative modes of transportation. First, it takes vehicles off the street because people who might be using ride hail or taxis or another personal vehicle might instead opt for this other solution. So if a person takes a subway or a bus to a certain station or stop, and they still live a mile away from that station, they have to figure out how to get there. A way to Even get cities to their location, exactly. Transportation, many residents have to travel a last mile. If dockless vehicles are deployed in more areas like this, residents could make better use of public transportation and not just rely on cars. Because what many people will do is say, I don't have a last mile option that works for me, so I'm just gonna drive the whole way. The cash influx for scooter share is really a bet. Investors hope that e-scooters can capture demand in underserved transportation deserts. I mean, bro, having these scooters like just thrown in random places around cities, isn't that like a bit risky as well? Like people can easily destroy them and like steal them and that sort of stuff. I know you have to scan like a QR code, like make the payment and then you have access to actually use it. But still, what if someone wants to damage like the company or something of the scooters? Like that, that's something different, you know? So I don't know how they go around that. So that's interesting as well. Without adding congestion, 
and the scooters might pull that off. One survey found robust support for e-scooters as a substitute for short driving trips. But the scooters won't work if their riders have to compete for space with pedestrians True. or cars. We're reaching a point in cities across America where it's time to get people out of their cars and allow people more modes. Smaller transportation, bikes, segways, and yes, scooters, they only work when cities make space for them. Planners can do this by designing complete streets. Complete streets is a new term that entered the lexicon of transportation planning relatively recently. Basically, is inspired by earlier streets where okay. you used to have all these different social uses of the streets and sidewalks, not only uh, streets for cars or even sidewalks for pedestrians. Complete streets start by reducing the amount of space given to cars. Then the city can build protected bus bulbs, wider sidewalks, street level plazas, and buffered bike lanes. Scooters will be a more realistic last mile option when cities build networks of complete streets. So worry not, dear pedestrians, even if the scooters are here to stay. Cities are drafting standards for this brave new world of alternative transportation. And with any luck, the love for scooters just might push cities to build safer, more accommodating streets. Okay. So hey. that, that was really an interesting video. I mean, let me know, guys, your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you have any experience in this, like any problems you face or blame these scooters, I don't know. But I mean, it's kind of helpful, you know, like it does the job, you know, so... Yeah, let me know, guys, your thoughts on this in the comments below. Hope you did all enjoy the video. If you did, go smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we'll be seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching, and peace out, guys.